Hello students, this is Amahesh Javalkar from Amaratha Mandal Polytechnic and today we will see the next video on applications of electronic engineering in which in the second unit of automotive electronics we will see today what is electronic ignition system. So here today's topic will be electronic ignition system. Now if you want to know electronic ignition system, then you should be clear with the concept of what is an ignition system. Now, if you want to know what is an ignition system, then you should be clear with the concept of what is a internal combustion engine in mechanical. Okay. So what is an induction, uh, internal combustion engine? And in that, what are the four strokes which take place and how the fuel and air mixture gets burnt, gets ignited and after that that power how it is used for a linear motion and then it is converted by a, a crankshaft to a rotary motion and then that a rotary motion is obtained. Okay, So that part, that logic you should know here and then only you can understand why electronic control becomes important so that timing is important, that find or tuning is important and that is why electronics comes into picture okay so here in this our presentation the our contents will be number one the ignition system number two types of ignition systems number three working of electronic ignition system number four in air electronic ignition lock system number five advantages of electronic ignition system number six or disadvantages of electronic ignition system and number seven applications of electronic ignition system so basically we will first start with what is that ignition system and then we will go to see why we have come to electronic ignition and then we will see what is that electronic ignition system okay so first to start with the ignition system ignition system if you go by definition it is the system in an internal combustion engine that is ic engine that produces the spark to ignite the mixture of fuel and air. It includes the battery, ignition coil, distributors, spark plugs and associated switches and wiring. Okay. Now your main thing is ignition system is going to produce a spark and that spark is going to ignite, it is going to burn a mixture of fuel and air in every engine cycle of the mechanical strokes what you have four strokes whenever the stroke comes where the gas the fuel and air mixture is compressed to high pressure and at that time you have to spark give the spark and burn that you should have a, a combustion internal to that okay so it is called the internal combustion internal burning and then that will produce energy and with that energy you are going to run the vehicle okay so that is where the spark will come into picture that is you want to burn at regular intervals at every time whenever after it is compressed after the uh, fuel and air mixture is compressed by the piston in the cylinder then at that time after the compression high pressure at that time you should be able to give a spark and ignite that mixture and then the a power will be developed and then the a combustion will take place and then after fully combustion process is finished then you will be having the smoke over there which has to be compressed and removed out okay so that is will be called as emission evaporating okay so now here uh, you should know at what time in every cycle you have to give the spark to ignite the fuel air mixture let the fuel be petrol or diesel let the fuel air mixture should be ignited at a particular time in the mechanical cycle okay so that is why a timing becomes important and when timing becomes important electronic systems will give you a fine control okay. so here Earlier to electronic ignition system, we had magneto ignition system, we had battery ignition system or coil ignition system. 
but the earlier systems had some uh, disadvantages drawbacks their uh, timing was not so accurate when the speed started increasing okay and in every cycle at a accurate time at a fine time at a exact time if it, if the sparking had to take place then electronic made it easy so electronic ignition system made it more fine tuning fine timing for every spark what you have in every cycle of the mechanical okay in which you can give that spark and ignite the mixture of fuel and air then we'll go to see what is that exactly electronic ignition system so electronic ignition system is a type of ignition system that uses electronic circuits this is very obviously usually by transistors controlled okay transistors controlled by sensors now sensors are going to give the input okay transistors controlled by sensors to generate electric pulses which in turn generate the better spark that can ever burn the mixture the lean mixture of your fuel and air and provide better economy and lower emission lower emission means your gases which are emitted out it is in a lower percentage okay so here if you go to see the internal block diagram only of the electronic module that is the electronic ignition system then here you can see you are having a engine position sensor you are having a controller you are having a driver circuit you are having rpm you are having maf sensor you are having transformers okay so here the main thing is the a controller whatever you are having here this is the important thing okay so here you can have your controller now this is a very important thing which is going to manage when to give the spark for the mixture of fuel and air now this a controller will get its input from the engine position okay this is engine position at what position is your engine that is in its mechanical cycle at what stage it is whether it is at the compression stage or whether it is ignite stage or whether it is power stage or whether it is exhaust stage so four strokes will be there in that at exactly at which stroke it is because at a particular stroke after the compression you have to ignite the mixture okay it will also see the speed in revolutions per minute how much is the speed going at present in revolutions per minute it will also see the mixture of air and fuel maf okay mixture of air and fuel how much it has come with all these three inputs it will decide when the spark has to come and then it will give a signal to the driver circuit this driver circuit will introduce a, a current in the primary of the transformer this is primary of the transformer and this is primary of the transformer now that high current when it is interrupted by this driver circuit okay it will produce a high voltage in the secondary it will produce a high voltage in the secondary now this high voltage of the secondary is applied to your spark plugs and then spark plugs will give you a spark and that spark will ignite the fuel plus air mixture okay fuel plus air mixture so even here you can have a spark plug so that is going to give you a spark and that is going to ignite the fuel plus air mixture and because of which power will be developed and the piston will start moving up and down and that linear motion will be converted into a rotary motion by a crankshaft and that rotary motion will make your vehicle to go ahead it will be transferred to the wheels of the vehicle okay then in this system if you go to see the explanation based on measurements from the sensors for engine position mass air flow or manifold preserve and and rpm the electronic controller computes the correct spark advance for each cylinder at the appropriate time the controller sends a trigger signal to the driver circuit thereby initiating spark so as i have told you earlier to understand this spark you should understand when the spark has to be given okay 
and to understand when the spark has to be given you should know the strokes of the mechanical cycle and to understand the strokes of the mechanical cycle then you should understand the working of the cylinder and in which there is a piston when is the piston going to compress and when is the piston going to expand okay and that cylinder will be having an input of your fuel and air now that mixture will be first compressed once it is compressed it comes to a high pressure okay high pressure at that time after that compression you should be able to generate the spark that means it will start burning that mixture and once that a combustion takes place power is developed okay then that power will run your purpose in the mechanical side and then when the burning is over whatever smoke you have that will be again compressed and put out with the exhaust pipe and that will be your emission or that will be your emission so that theory of mechanical you should have a little background of that so that with that if you connect this then you can understand why we are using electronic control because we want that fine timing we want that exact timing at every cycle the spark should take place okay so because of that we are using electronic control and then electronic control was giving you the best results best optimization of working of the engine best fuel consumption and minimum emissions of gas okay so uh, before the spark occurs the driver circuit sends a relatively large current through the primary of the coil when the spark is to occur a trigger is given to the driver circuit the a trigger causes the driver circuit to interrupt the a current in the primary a very high voltage is induced at this time in the secondary of the coil this high voltage applied to the spark plug causes them to fire then the spark will come okay so that is what the process we saw in the block diagram then we'll go to see what do we mean by electronic ignition lock system okay now lock system will come into picture to prevent a uh, uh, what you say errors by the driver now say for example if your driver is drunk okay and he is going to start your vehicle then that ignition only that spark only will not be generated it will not start initially only till a certain test is taken by of the driver okay then what we have to do is according to this theory if you read in the electronic ignition lock system to prevent a drunken driving the basic idea is to flash an arbitrary sequence of letters on a screen arbitrary sequence of letters say if the letters are a b c d some arbitrary sequence you are going to produce on a screen and then require the driver to punch a set of buttons in the same order then the driver has to see that screen and he has to punch or type the same order alphabets okay tests have shown that better discrimination between drivers who are drunk and those who simply have poor retention of visual images is obtained by requiring the task to be performed in several short sequences rather than one long sequence so you can also see whether the visual visual image vision of the car driver is correct or no or the driver is drunk or no on this basis the following scheme is proposed there will be four buttons labeled a b c d and three legal sequences if you see the a diagram for it on the top in figure a we have shown here the three sequences this is the first sequence for example this is the second exam this is the third sequence okay now those sequences will be seen by the driver and then after that he has to take this keyboard over here and he has to punch those sequences according to that order so a b c d will be punched and it will go to the sequence detector if the sequences are correct okay then it will be given to the a comparator the sequences anyhow they will be given to the a comparator the comparator will decide whether the sequence is correct or no if it is correct then it will give this enable ignition then the spark will be produced then the vehicle will start okay but if the sequence if the drunken driver has not pressed the sequence correctly then it will give this signal because of which the ignition system will disable it will get locked it will get locked okay 
so for that supporting you will be having also counter and display also but the main thing is what sequence you are going to form and what the driver has to press and what the sequence detector has to detect here and then it has to give this to the comparator and the comparator has to compare and see whether the sequences are correct if they are correct go to spark if they are not correct lock the system so this is called as electronic ignition lock system okay then if you see the advantages of electronic ignition system uh, number one it has very few moving paths it has low maintenance required it less emission generates efficiency is good it also increases the fuel efficiency so all these are positive points of electronic ignition system then if you want to see the drawback or demerit or disadvantage of electronic ignition system the cost of the system is high it means expensive in cost okay so the rate will be a little high if you go to see the applications of electronic ignition system this system used in aircraft engines it also used in modern bikes and cars you can give many such examples with the modern vehicles where everywhere electronic ignition systems are used okay so this was your complete concept of what is an electronic ignition system now this is an electronic module which is fitted in a mechanical system and it is going to control the mechanical system so as i've told you earlier also students with the background of what is the internal combustion engine with the background of what are the four strokes with the background of what is a cylinder and piston what is the first stroke second stroke third stroke fourth stroke what is compression what is fuel air mixture and after you compress it then you have to burn it what is that burning timing then you have to produce a spark and you have to burn that mixture that will give you the energy mechanical energy for the vehicle to move okay so that idea that background you should little bit know before knowing what is electronic ignition system okay so thank you students